Me inside of the train, of course. There you go. Well, calling all dog lovers. Reynolds, you and I Absolutely. included, right? This one is for you. Today, dozens of Newfoundland dogs will convene on a Christmas tree farm about an hour west of Philadelphia. It's Newfoundland Day, a day where these gentle, giant, working dogs will help pull your Christmas tree of choice out to your car and, of course, enjoy all the attention they'll be getting as well. Yeah, they do look like silly little bears. I guess Huge. big bears, yeah, actually. So you know, various tree farms around America hold these popular special days each and every year. And joining us now is Lindsay Eshelman at Plow Farms in Mon Monton, uh, Pennsylvania. I hope that's how you say it. We really appreciate Monton, you joining us. <laughs> there, that'll work. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so how many dogs are you expecting today and what can visitors expect if they've never been to your, to your location? Well, you know, we started eight years ago with our two new fees. Um, and we've grown today. We're expecting up to 80 Newfoundland dogs here today, a couple thousand people. And we just welcome all to come enjoy the breed. You'll take one of our favorite furry friends out into the Christmas tree field. We put a card on them. You'll pick your Christmas tree, cut it down, and the dog will do its working due diligence and pull it in. Yeah, I mean, it's a working <laughs> dog. This is what they live to the do, right? Dog. They love to have a job or a chore. How long have you been holding Newfoundland Day, by the way? And what spurred you to start it in the first place? So Newfoundlands have always been part of our family. And we always hear they're, they're water rescue dogs traditionally. Um, but here in the Northeast, we don't have a lot of water. So we use them to pull carts. And eight years ago, with a little humble beginning here, we started and it kind of went viral, and now we're known as the Newfoundland Farm. So these guys are part of our DNA here at Plow Farms now. Okay, so for, for those who may not be in the know, uh, Newfoundlands, or Newfies yeah. as they're sometimes called. Newfies. Okay, yeah. just, just from the appearances, not trying to make them mad, <laughs> but they do seem a little bit sleepy, kind of lazy at times. But <laughs> to, to Kelly's point, they do like to work, right? They do. They're strong dogs. Um, they aren't what we would call very energetic, but when they're given a task, they work. As you can see, I can't even get this one to, to sit up. <laughs> so, and But they're very strong, and when you put a cart to them, they actually push the cart, not pull it, so there's not a lot of pressure on the joints because I know a lot of people worry about if the dog is taxed or stressed. They're not, and they love it. And Lindsay, of course, you're gonna have families that are going there to pick out their trees. Oh. Are, are these dogs yeah. great with kids? Oh, uh, these actually were the nanny dogs in Peter Pan. So they have a long right. history. Yes, they have a long history of being associated with being cuddly dogs for families. And the beauty of coming here today is because we'll have so many. A lot of families get their holiday photos taken in the Christmas tree fields. We have Santa here. So it's, it's like the way to spark your holiday joy in the most dog-friendly way. It's such a beautiful setting, but then you bring in the personality of the dogs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I imagine it draws so many people. How far away do people actually make the trip to, to visit your site? So we have had people drive down from Maine, Ohio, and for reference, we're, we're an hour into central Pennsylvania from Philadelphia, so that's 10-plus hour drives. We have hotels in the area who call us and say, hey, we're dog-friendly, your friends can stay here, and, you know, it's kind of become a gathering of everyone who loves the breed or owns the breed. I'll tell you, uh, if we had the time, you'd probably have two more people driving up from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. We'll be right there, Lindsay. Goodness. Lindsay, how, how big is that dog? How, how big would you say? How so many we pounds? have Laverne and Shirley here. Um, Laverne, who is an interesting color. You're used to seeing black. Um, she's what you call champagne or gray. And she's uh, upwards of 155 pounds, <laughs> which is a lot of dog. And uh, Shirley, who's not interested in standing, is a little less, but they are essentially tanks. Um, so if you want a large <laughs> dog, this is this is the breed for you. And they are, like I said, they're big, but they're giant. And, and we're so proud to have them as our ambassadors here at Plow Farms. Love it. Wow. Love it. Unbelievable. Thanks. Lindsay Eshelman, thank you so much. This has really been a real joy today. Really uh, beautiful. Great dogs. Wow. Well. Is, is uh, your dog, your golden retriever, as big as that? How much does your dog weigh? He's a freak. He's about the size of the Empire State <laughs> Building. He's, he's just a, enormous.